Hey friends, this is another silent keyboard video, testing out the Otimu Silent Sky Tactile Switches as well as a breakdown. A few months ago, I uploaded the most silent keyboard build and it became very popular as it showed me a couple things along with a poll I recently posted. Majority of the people who answered this poll preferred a non-silent keyboard, but the analytics and comments flowing into my silent alpacas keyboard video were overwhelmingly positive for silent preferences. This told me that most of my viewers and subscribers prefer a thocky sounding keyboard, which to no surprise, building a nice sounding keyboard is one of the major goals for enthusiasts. But my video accounts for a much larger population that find silent keyboards very practical and still very highly desired. For example, high school teenagers who are trying to game while their parents are sleeping at night, or college students who are typing away at their midterm essay while their roommates are sleeping, or adult professionals who are trying to build a or want a nice quality keyboard and not annoy their coworkers in the adjacent cubicle. So with all that being said, all of these are valid points which moving forward motivates me to want to make more silent keyboard videos on the channel. So let's dive in. My previous Silent Alpacas Mode 80 video were using silent linear switches, but this time we're going to test out silent tactile switches, the Otemu Silent Skies. TLDR, they are both equally super quiet in real world use, and you can only tell the difference when holding both switches literally right up to your ear. When doing so, the silent skies are just a tad bit louder, only because the tactile stem legs are rubbing off of the leaf with a bump, which is not something you experience in linear switches. The only real world difference between these two switches is the feel, the tactile bump versus a straight linear motion. Let's do the sound test right now, and then I'll talk a bit about working with these switches after. If you want to compare sound tests with my Silent Alpacas video or any future keyboard videos I put up, you can just open up another browser tab with that video and do a side by side. This does not affect the comparison because all my keyboards are using the exact same testing environment. Same table, same microphone, same recording settings, microphone is placed the same distance away from the keyboard every single time. Area is boxed off with sound blankets from floor to ceiling so you get pure raw audio with minimal disturbances. Here it is. Okay, as I mentioned in the screen right before the sound test, these switches have been lubed but not filmed. Reason being is that the Otemu housings are really tight. So tight that even traditional switch openers don't successfully work as intended. When doing this, only one side of the top housing lifts off and you have to use a tweezer or some kind of prying tool to manually pop off the other side. With that said, filming these doesn't really make a difference in my opinion. As for the pricing, the Otemu Silent Skies are currently going for $0.59 cents per switch, 
which makes it more affordable compared to something like Zeo PC's Xilinx or Sakurio switches, which I will also have videos coming up for as well. My switches here have also been spring swapped from the stock 68 grams, which I felt were too heavy, to my TX 50 grams short springs. I did this because I personally like lighter springs coming from a competitive gaming background, where I was used to 45 grams on Cherry MX Reds as my main. 50 grams was where I felt the balance should be now for my current gaming experience and general typing use. As for the stability of the switch, there isn't a whole lot of stem wobble in both the vertical and horizontal directions on the Silent Skies, as the Otemu top housing is really tight as mentioned before. Another important discussion would be the dampeners on the Silent Switches. I would say some to most enthusiasts dislike Silent Switches not just because of the lack of sound, but also the mushy feeling these dampeners give when pressed. In this specific comparison with Silent Alpacas that I've tested before, the dampeners on the Silent Skies are more noticeable than the Alpacas. Looking closely, the silicon dampeners on the Silent Skies are clear while the Alpacas are black. The mushy feeling is more apparent on the Silent Skies because the dampeners protrude out at the bottom of the stem more so than the Alpacas. In summary, Otemu Silent Skies are a tad bit louder compared to Silent Alpacas, but unnoticeable. The housing is super tight with minimal wobble. The dampeners also don't bother me personally, but that's my own preference. Choosing between the two, Silent Skies and Silent Alpacas sound the same, but Alpacas feel better because of the less protruding dampeners. I will have more silent keyboard builds coming in the future with different silent switches and in different keyboards too. Now, I don't want people to think that the Mode 80 is the only keyboard case you have to get in order to achieve this really quiet and silent build like I did here, especially for the general public um, since these custom keyboards are not as accessible. And this just so happens to be the only high quality custom keyboard I have on hand in order to be able to achieve this sort of acoustic level. So with that being said, I also plan on doing some mods on pre-built keyboards because they are more easily accessible to the general public from your local retail or e-tail store such as like Best Buy, Amazon, or Newegg. If you have a particular keyboard in mind that you'd like to see me mod or do DIY works on, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. And that is all for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs and a subs if you want to see more keyboard videos. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next one.